Hey, good morning. Welcome to the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I know I talked about it. I talk about a lot of things, don't I? But I'm going to expand, start bringing stuff in from the internet and, and sharing screens and maybe turning off my cell phone. I guess that's my notice. So if you like the channel and follow us on whether it be Facebook, YouTube, or um, LinkedIn, you'll get postings when we go live. So that was my phone going off telling me, hey, 5 a.m. Master Scrum's doing their YouTube show. Um, so please follow us and like us. Appreciate it very much. Share share what we're doing. It helps uh, immensely on how we grow. Um, today, I'm going to talk about taking stories and breaking them down as subtasks. I'm just going to be a little example from um, the OKR, personal, personal OKR mastermind group that we have as part of my coaching program and some coaches that from the past that have joined the mastermind where we uh, come up with some goals we want to achieve in a quarter, write some stories for it. We treat it just like Scrum, just like you are in the office. And I do it for a number of reasons. One, to practice what to preach and learn what it is. And one of the things I did the other day is I broke a story down to a lot of little subtasks. And it was, I was cranking it out last night and the point where I was up too late, but I wanted to share how it works because it's important when we go ask teams to break down work and subtask that we come from a position having done it and why we do it and why it works out well. So I'm going to kind of share my scrum board today from the mastermind a little bit. To a virtual share i'll try to describe as much as possible as far as the pot for the podcast uh, listeners out there and uh, we'll go from there so today welcome to the 5 a.m master scrum show i am greg master scrum master and agile coach and here we talk about scrum and agile in a very practical and tactical way this is very practical and very tactical to bring value to the customer not work crazy hours to do it and have fun along the way and i have to admit Using the board, it kind of made it fun too, and I'll, I'll I'll share that with you. What I see on this board now, I want to put up the banner, I'll put the European Union up. We'll see how this works. So this banner is from the Tuesday night program where we go look at jobs across the world, mostly United States, European Union, and talk about Philadelphia since I'm in from Philadelphia. So I share this job. So the banner on the bottom of the board shows the the average the growth or decline as certain agile positions in the market. So with that, let's get going. So let me explain before I go showing the board. I know you want to see the board probably. I don't know. So I talked about a little bit earlier how we have the personal OKR program. One of the things I instilled in my coaching programs is I want you to have practical experience. I want you to experience experience it. I want you to know it so when you talk about it, it comes from the heart. It comes from a point of, I've done this. I know this. I know why it works. I've had the same feeling when I do it as a result of what I do. And we came up with boards, and in there we have, we kind of adjust a little bit because there's no rule that says you have to do everything the same. I'm going to tell you right now, there is no rule on that. Sometimes you find good ways of doing it, and you share that with your team. In this case, our... I want to say the stories are more like epics, um, but they are sub stories and epics. And I'll, and I'll sh actually, I'll show you the whole board a little bit, what everyone's got. No one's got anything uh, proprietary or anything like that. Nothing's uh, earth shattering as far as that goes. And I'll show, I'll show it a little bit here. So let's try it let's see how this works. So I'm going to share the board. My picture is now at the bottom corner. Okay, and you get the logo up top. Okay, so we looks like we're doing good. So I'm going to share this a little bit. Try not to go overboard, a little general. So we're using Jira. Yeah, everyone can use whatever they want. Now Jira's taking a while to spin up here. Okay, great. Now, what we had done, the way I set it up, is I have epics for each person, put their initials on it and stuff like that. So there's epics for each person that's in here. And my epics, I put mine at the bottom because I'm actually doing it also because I think it's important that I practice it. Plus, I can use I could use the uh, peer support and the mastermind for ideas of what I'm supposed to be doing. So I had two of them. One, I'm making a coaching marketing funnel, and I'm taking a. Um, at one point, I want to build an HR course that's coming in the future. 
but that's the big one. So the marketing funnel has, if I click on it, it'll sort the thing. So I have a bunch of stories related to that epic right now. So in the stories in this current sprint, was there sprint two? I have a few here. Let me close this window. I am doing a, this is session two for this marketing class I'm taking. I'm building an email list. I got session three of the marketing class and I got session four of the market. So this is all part of this quarter. I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to get this one done. So I'm going to actually move it to the next one. I right click. I'm going to move it to sprint three because there's no way. Because the end of our sprint is this weekend, <laughs> right? Yeah, April 1st. So there's no way I'm going to get that done in the sprint. So I got these things going on. I'm, I'm doing pretty good on all of them. So we'll see how that goes for Friday, um, Sunday. And of course, I'm working a lot harder on the thing. So let's look at the board. This is what I really wanted to get into today because I think it's really important. Um, and there's my stories. And then what I did is I subtask. So I just want to kind of explain a little bit what I did with this custom marketing funnel. In this class, there's like a series of videos, series of steps, all the things you got to install. At first, you're like, oh, I don't want to write all these sub tasks down and these sub videos and these subsections down. And that's the argument you get from developers all the time, right? So what I, uh, let's go back to this. There we go. Back to me. So what I what I always see from developers and testers and all, oh, it takes too much to break those stories down. But I will say my best experience with developers is when they do. I had a developer years ago who broke their work down and they loved it because they just came in every day, picked up the next task because they created their task. I did not create their task for them. And they would just do it. And when they got it done, and went to the done. And they didn't pick the next one. And that's what I'm doing in this scenario. And that's why I want to show you what I wanted to bring that up. And um, so what I'm doing here, I wrote all these subtasks down, right? And then as I did them, right, I'm only doing one at a time. I notice this. One subtask at a time. So I quit last night on the, uh, the funnel page because I was exhausted, <laughs> to be honest with you. But I was so energized because... Every time I got something done, and this is where this is a little better than doing it on a, um, sticky notes because it's so easy to create these and get this going. I get a little check marks, right? Every time I did one, I moved it to done. And as you can see, I did up quite a few yesterday. And it was nice because I would get this done. When I get this done, I'll move it to done. And I'll just move it over. I'll just kind of fake it, but I'm not. It just says move to done, but I'm not going to do that right now. But that's where it goes You can um, based on the workflow that I created. Make that bigger. Um, and then when I get that done, I'll pick the next one in the list. I'll grab it, drag it over to be in process, and I'll do the next video segment of the class. So this is so easy. It makes the work go so much quicker. I know everyone argues, why do I want to do subtests? Like if I was doing some, some website stuff, I might break it down into, let's just say, um, do some graphics build a database in the backside, whatever. Cause I'm going to be doing that here. Cause look at this. I gotta, I gotta build my bridge call page, which I didn't, I gotta customize the book. I gotta customize the questionnaire page, customize the survey, customize the configuration page. So each one of these is a subsection, each page on the website. And then as I do each one, it's going to move over. I'm going to tell you right now, heads, heads, heads down. This is, the best way to get work done and it's gratifying and it makes you a little happy every time you take one of these small tasks. I mean, I mean, you don't make a task that says my name is Greg. That's a task. I filled my name in. No, no. I mean, there has to be some page worth of stuff. That's part of that task, but I'm telling you now, this is the best way to do it. I don't care what anybody says, breaking the work down, taking that time in that sprint planning session, because that's what I did. I looked at it. I said, you know what? I can't I can't do big things. I can't just say whatever it is, how, however it is. I, I need to break it down into subtasks. And as I came up, I decided some of these, I need. I just broke them all down. 
and it's just making the flow go better. So I wanted to share this with you. This is something we do in our in our in our our mastermind group, and it's just a way of helping people go. And I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm going to share this with my team that I'm working with today. I'm going to show them example how the work breaks down, how it flows. Even though there's a lot of subtasks, I'm going to say, "Oh, that's a lot of subtasks." But I'm going to tell you, I know exactly where I finished last night. I know exactly where I'm going to start up again because I finished last night in the create, do the funnel page, first page. And I know I didn't finish it. So I know it's the first thing I'm going to address when I get back into it and get into that groove. It helps a lot. Um, and the nice thing is I get to show this to my team that I'm using what I practice, what I preach when I'm working through the board and how much this makes your life easier. Because they say, oh, I don't want to do this too much. It's not that much. There's a story that's underneath me. The be- I, What I like about Jira now is that you can sort it by individual so I can turn it off where I don't see everyone's stuff anymore. That's a nice ad by Jira. They didn't have that when I used it. Um, or when you do the server version. I don't know necessarily have that. Well, they can you can filter for yourself. That's filter for all my work. So it's nice that it has that. It's boom, 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 boom. But I mean, the one dangerous part is you have to make sure your name is on every issue, every subtask. Otherwise, it won't appear in the work. Um, but it, it 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 does. If I do that, it'll show up and then I can double check. I'm like, is my little picture of me on each one of these? Yes. So. I just wanted to share that with you as a way of managing work, taking that story, breaking that work down. It's going to make your developer's life a blast. And they're going to feel good about it because when you sit there and crank on something for hours upon hours and you don't break it down in little smaller segments, you don't get that feeling of accomplishment. So I wanted to share that with you. I think, I think breaking stories down i mean if the, if the user story is only gonna take a half day do you need to break it down maybe not i would um if you got a couple hours and you got a couple of distinct segments to do to solve the problem go ahead and do that spend some time you know um doing your own solutioning doing your own systems thinking where you take the faults the pro- potential problems talk about them all figuring out so maybe one little subtask might even be troubleshooting right troubleshooting the problem where where's the solution what are the potential solutions doing that whole double diamond thing that we talk about and coming up with that answer maybe that's a subtask and then the next one would be grabbing the code or getting ready maybe you put coffee no don't say getting coffee but you have distinct breaks so you do all the troubleshoot walk away go get a coffee you know you got it done come back and and close it out and do whatever you got to do so I wanted to share that with you all. I just think practicing this stuff is so important. Gives you such credibility with your teams when you do coach them and do come in. You can say, look what I got. You know, I did this on my own. Oh, and by the way, perfect resume stuff when you do an interview. How much would it be neat? Can I share with you my screen how I manage my OKR goals for the quarter for my personal goals and how I use Scrum and how I use Jira to break down my work each sprint and what I'm working on to achieve my own personal goals. <laughs> They'll blow their you blow their minds away on a job interview if you did that, by the way. I'm just saying that. So I just want to share that one more last time. So here's like how I'm looking at my goals. Here's one of my 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 goals for this sprint. Here's how I broke the st- story down. There's a story through this custom funnel. And then each task, every one of these videos, and by the way, each video is like an hour long. <laughs> I'm getting my money's worth on this. This guy is really good. Um, it lays everything step by step, but I broke it down and I get excited every time I get a little check mark. Check out the little check mark. It's pretty cool. Anyway, can you imagine sharing that with a, in a job interview? I think you get your job interview. Anyway, if you want it. Take care, everyone. I want to wish you the best. Um, just have a great day and happy scrumming. We'll uh, we'll see you tonight. And yeah, no, I didn't put out the not the uh, meetup thing last night because I got caught up in this stuff. I got I, I was so like into it, I couldn't stop. <laughs>
my kids are looking at me, dad, you're ever going to get off the computer. I'm like, no, I'm on a roll. I can't stop. But I knew exactly what I was doing. Each one. Boom, boom, boom. It was beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. All right. So take care, everyone. Have a great day. And we will see you tomorrow. Um, you'll get a notice. If you follow me, like me, uh, the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show, you'll get a note when we post up the uh, meetup stuff from last time. All right. Take care. And don't forget, next April, we got um, Jennifer Steelman. She's going to talk about Kanban again in part two because there's a lot of people want to do some of the exercises. So we're going to do that next month in April. Take care. Bye. See ya. See you later.